Gaston has an interesting question about being able to use a Zoho creative form inside Zoho CRM. His main requirement is that he doesn't want his users to have to leave the CRM in order to open a report. He talks about how he's got a certain form in his creator app where it looks like he's passing in a potentially either a creator ID or a CRM record ID. I'm going to assume it's a CRM record ID, otherwise he wouldn't be wanting to actually interface with the CRM. And he's trying to figure out ways to do it. There's two ways that I'd like to point out. One is that within Zoho CRM, if you go into Marketplace Zoho, there's a section here, Build Custom Apps, which may be appropriate. The idea here is that you link a creator form and also the creator records to a record or a module in Zoho CRM. And here, if we go to this last part here, we can link that form to, for example, the leads module, and we can pass in the lead ID into the Zoho creator form. That may work. I have a feeling it's not quite what he wants. I have a feeling he wants it to be a bit more like this, which is using a widget. Let me show you how I did that. So we've got in this custom module, I've added in a new widget and that widget is getting the record ID out of Zoho CRM. The way that was accomplished is by having some widget code, which gets the entity ID and then sets the URL for an iframe. An iframe is a way to embed other websites. So basically embedding Zoho Creator inside Zoho CRM and we're able to pass relevant information via the URL parameters. So this is a, a very simple widget. I'll share the code for it, but essentially the process for setting it up, you need to have Node.js installed on your computer. You first run NPX Zoho extension toolkit in it, which will then ask you what service. I chose CRM. I passed in a name for the project and then it created a folder for me with the relevant dependencies had to reinstall Zoho Extension Toolkit. And then while I was debugging it, I was using NPX Z run, which is a way of being able to run that widget locally. And then when I'm done with it, I can do NPX Z pack, which will make a, a zip file. And then I'd come in and where I have the widget that I added, show you that right now the widget is pointing to localhost port 5000 which is what you get when you do npx set run now i'm happy with it so i'll change the hosting to zoho i'll come in and i will pass the zip file and then it will be like this. And now I basically, I've got a widget that is stored on Zoho servers, which is able to get information out of Zoho CRM and pass it to a Zoho creator form via URL parameters. And you could do a lot more with that Hopefully that gives you an idea of how to start. So I might have got that URL wrong. Ah, I didn't need the double lap. So that should have been like that.
There we go, that's working well. You'll find the link for the code in the YouTube video description. Hope this helps. One other thing I forgot to mention is the URL for the creative form is a special one. You need to go into the Zoho Creator settings and publish your form. So you go publish component, you choose the form or the report, and then click on get embed code and you want to use the embed code part here. And then whatever you get from that section, you then at the very end do a question mark and then you can put your URL parameters at the end. There I'm passing lead ID, which will populate the lead ID field inside my creator app. It's my creator app. It's just like that. Whatever I put in as the URL parameters will be fed into that form field. And of course you could then use Delude script inside your creator form in order to take action, for example, to fetch data from Zoho CRM.